very good afternoon dear students so the next topic mentioned in your syllabus chemical reaction and especially redox reaction there are lot of chemical reactions are available but in biochemistry for microbiology they have mentioned redox reactions so we are going to discuss the details about a redox reaction so coming to the introduction about redox reaction this you might have studied in your lesser classes okay so redox reactions is nothing but redox is a short form of oxidation and reduction okay redox r e d o x okay so red ox okay redox is nothing but the short form of reduction and oxidation so oxidation reduction chemical reaction in which uh, the reactants undergo changes in the oxidation state okay that is known as redox reaction so redox reaction a reduction is a process and an oxidation process so redox redox reaction consisting of both reduction and oxidation so and this always occurs simultaneously okay this is always occur occurs parallelly in a chemical reaction so what do you mean by oxidizing before we are discussing about the oxidation we should know that what do you mean by oxidizing agent and what do you mean by reducing agent we will discuss in detail okay so substance which are reduced in a chemical reaction is known as oxidizing agent substance which are reduced in a chemical reactions is known as oxidizing agent then the same time the substance which is getting oxidized is known as a reducing agent the substance which is getting oxidized is known as reducing agent then the redox reactions here you can see in the figure so what do you mean by this actually here you can see a reactant a okay reactant b so once the reactant a once it is loose an electron that mean that is that is mean by the oxidation and it will converted into a plus okay that is known as a oxidation similarly the reactant b so once it is undergoing and getting an electron so that is known as a uh, reduction that means to say b okay in the case of reduction the reactant acquires a negative charge but in the case of oxida oxidation the reactant acquires a positive charge so an electron was removed from a reactant a and this reactant is oxidized so if you remove an electron from a reactant a that means to say the reactant is oxidized then similarly the reactant b was handed an electron if it is supply an electron and was therefore reduced okay so if it supplied an electron so what will happen it will become reduced okay so that means to say what do you mean by an oxidation oxidation is nothing but the loss of electron and the corresponding increase in the oxidation state of a given reactant okay from this figure we can call it as oxidation may be defined as this is a process of losing an electron okay process of losing an electron loss of electron and the corresponding increase in the oxidation state of a given reactant similarly what do you mean by reduction it is a gaining of electron okay it's a gain of electron and the corresponding decrease in the oxidation state of a reactant just opposite okay so here they will be getting an electron and they'll decrease the oxidation state of a reaction reactant okay that is known as a reduction then in the case of redox reaction the electron which is accepting electron accepting species which it tend to undergo a reduction in the redox reaction that is known as an oxidizing agent if the agent that is electron accepting species which it tend to reduce due to a reduce due to a redox reaction that is known as a oxidizing agent electron donating species which it tend to hand over electron in a redox reaction is known as reducing 
agent okay reducing agents are uh, electron donating species oxidizing agents are electron accepting species okay electron donating species which tend to hand over the electron in a redox reaction is known as a reducing agent so these species tends to undergo oxidation as well then what are the major methods for the transfer of electron during o oh, main uh, this ox i oh, mean oxid uh, reduce redox reaction okay there are four important method directly in the form of electron the transfer that is happening directly in the form of electron the transfer in the form of hydrogen atom the transfer in the form of hydride atom ion and the transfer during the direct combination of an organic reductant with a oxygen so these are the four main mechanism of the transfer of electron so the direct uh, transfer of electron uh, mean directly in the form of electron transfer for example the uh, the ferrous that will be converted into a ferric form okay fe2 plus will be converted into a fe3 plus the redox sphere can transfer an electron to copper plus and a copper 2 plus pair so here you can see the uh, iron will be interacted with the uh, cu2 plus okay the fe2 plus the ferrous ion will be interacted with the the cuprous ion that is cu2 plus and what is it is interacted that will happen so this will acquire an electron and will convert into fe3 plus okay that is an example that is what i told direct transfer of uh, electrons then in the form of hydrogen atom so a hydrogen atom consisting of a proton and a single electron okay so as you all know the hydrogen atom is consisting of a proton and a single electron okay so in the form of uh, transferring of a hydrogen atom they will be getting the proton and an electron the third one is in the form of hydride ion okay so hydride ion this is represented in the form of like this h minus there is a a colon bear two electrons as in the case of uh, okay in the case of biological biochemistry the quaternary number of adenine diphosphate that is di i uh, mean dihydrogenase okay so nad di dihydrogenase we will discuss that okay so the next one is uh, during direct combination of an, or an an organic reductant with oxygen okay during the direct combination of an organic reductant with a uh, oxygen so example oxidation of hydrocarbon to an alcohol here you can see ch3 there will be half molecule of o2 so here you can see the r ch2 and that oxygen the half o2 one of the oxygen will be converted to transfer to the ethanol okay and the, you will be getting ch3 ch2 oh okay that is ethanol okay so the oxygen that is came from that has come from this particular Uh, i mean uh, you know part of the reaction okay so o2 one oxygen is uh, reached here and it become ethanol then what are the main types of redox reactions there are four important types of redox reaction one is decomposition reaction next one is combination reaction next one is displacement reaction next one is disproportionation reaction okay these are the various types of a uh, redox reaction we will discuss one by one okay so number one first one the decomposition reaction so in this case as the name indicate decomposition is nothing but breakdown okay breakdown of a compound into different compound okay breakdown of a major compound into different compound that is known as decomposition reaction okay so here the examples are you can see that 2na that will be dissociate as 2na plus plus h2 okay 2na plus of sodium and hydrogen okay so two molecules of water to hydrogen and to oxygen okay so um, i mean sodium carbonate na2co3 na2o plus carbon dioxide okay sodium oxide and carbon dioxide so all the above reaction result in the breakdown of smaller chemical compound so here you can see it's a complex and is broken down into sodium and hydrogen this is broken down into water is broken down into hydrogen and oxygen so here it is broken down in the in the form of sodium and carbon dioxide okay that is known as a, a decomposition reaction okay the, but there is 
the special case that uh, confirm that all composition reactions are not redox reaction okay say for example calcium carbonate okay so here calcium oxide and carbon dioxide here it is not like the previous case here you can see calcium oxide one oxygen they have taken and form a calcium oxide and uh, uh, co3 becomes co2 okay one oxygen is gone okay so that is not a redox reaction there are exception this is known as decomposition reaction then the combination reaction this is just opposite to the decomposition reaction the decomposition reaction it is the splitting of the compound okay so here in the case of a combination reaction this is formation of compound okay combination of two compounds to form a single compound okay the formation of a and b to form ab okay for example hydrogen and chlorine okay so here we can we will be able to get a hydrogen and chlorine that is 2 hcl c plus o2 and later converted into carbon dioxide okay both the things are converted forms a complex okay similarly iron plus oxygen okay so for iron for getting the valency okay so in order to make the valency for iron plus 3 o2 that will be iron oxide okay 2 fe2 o3 okay this is a combination reaction then the next one is displacement reaction this is something different in this kind type of reaction an atom or an ion okay an atom or an ion in a compound it is replaced by an atom or an ion in another element okay it's very interesting okay so an atom or an ion, ion present in one compound will be replaced with the atom or ion in the another complex okay so this can be represented as x plus y z that means to say x into z that is x z plus y okay this is replaced with the x okay so this is a combined with the x and you can see x z plus y there are two types of uh, displacement reaction one is metal displacement reaction next one is a uh, non metal displacement uh, reaction what do you mean by metal displacement reaction is in this case in this type of reaction a metal present in the compound is displaced uh, by another metal okay so a metal that is present in the compound will be displaced or replaced by another metal okay these types of reaction find their application in metallurgical process there is they very important hydrometallurgy metallurgical reaction this metal displacement is very very important an example copper sulfate plus zen, zinc okay so here you can see see this sulfur see copper sulfate will be dissociated as cu plus plus so4 minus okay and that will be interacted with this zn it will produce a zn so4 and the copper will be released out that is x plus yz gives xz plus y okay exactly the same thing that is known as metal displacement the metal uh, instead of copper zinc is a i mean no replaced here okay the non metal replacement okay in this type of reaction we can find a hydrogen displacement and sometimes most of the case it will be a displacement of hydrogen and in very rare case there will be displacement of oxygen is also happen okay either hydrogen or uh, oxygen this is known as displacement reaction next one is disproportion proportionation reaction okay so this is as the name indicate the reaction which involves single reactant is oxidized and reduced a single of reactant that will be oxidized later it will be reduced okay so here you can see p4 the phosphorus that is valence is for it combines with the sodium hydroxide strong alkaline presence of water then you can see 3 nah2 po2 okay so this compound and a ph3 okay so here you can see both the compounds are getting oxidized and they are reducing okay that is known as a disproportionation reaction then actually oxidation reaction you know that both oxidation and uh, reduction okay now we are going to discuss what is this oxidation and reduction reaction so oxidation reactions are nothing but more clearly is very simple term oxidation is a loss of electron from a substrate okay loss of a electron one more definition we can have it is addition of oxygen oxidation means 
loss of electrons or addition of oxygen or the more electron negative elements or removal of a hydrogen or more electropositive element from a substrate is called as, as an oxidation reaction. Addition of oxygen or more electronegative element. Oxygen is more electronegative than any other molecule or removal of a hydrogen. That is what I told. Removal of a proton. Okay. Or uh, the more electropositive element. Okay. Oxidation is nothing but the electropositive element that is attached. Okay. Here you can see an example uh, sulfur 2s. This is a solid state and uh, oxygen is a gaseous state. Okay. Sulfur combines with oxygen. Obviously, you know that that forms a sulfur dioxide which is a gas okay, and methane that is also a gas plus 2 oxygen that is also a gas and later that combines it will be formed carbon dioxide plus a water. Okay, That is known as a oxidation. Addition of oxygen. Okay, What is happening here? Addition of oxygen that means you say the oxygen is simply added. The more electronegative oxygen is simply added or removal of hydrogen okay, or the and or the more electropositive elements. Okay, there hydrogen is more electropositive and oxygen is more electronegative. That is the example of oxidation. What about reduction? It is a gaining of electron. Oxidation is loss of, loss of electron and uh, reduction is gaining of electron. The gain of electron. Any substance that gain an electron during a chemical reaction. Get that will be get reduced. Same thing, the reduction reaction is stated as the addition of hydrogen. Similarly, here we have seen addition of oxygen. Okay, here addition of hydrogen or more electropositive elements or removal of a more electronegative elements. Okay, here we have seen uh, the removal of an electropositive element, but here removal of an electronegative element or oxygen from a substrate. Here we can see alkane. That is CH2. CH2 two molecules of alkane that is gas okay plus interacted with the hydrogen that is also a gas they form some single bond okay CH3 CH3 al alkane that is produced okay so that is an excellent example of a reduction what is happened here here the addition of hydrogen has happened okay so that is an excellent example of reduction reaction then what do you mean by an oxidizing agent and reducing agent okay oxidation the agent responsible for oxidation is known as oxidizing agent the agent uh, responsible for the reduction is known as reducing agent. Okay, so that means you say oxidizing agents are the substance that can be an atom or ion or a molecule that gains electron that uh, gains electron and is thereby reduced to a low valency state. Okay, which uh, gains electron and reduced to a low valency state. That is known as oxidizing agent just opposite okay reducing agent the substance that loses the electron and is thereby oxidized to a higher valency state okay it is oxidized to form a higher valency state that is known as a reducing edge this is these are oxidizing and a reducing edge then we will see some of the examples what are some of the oxidizing agent what are some of the reducing agent the molecule made up of electronegative elements, okay, such as the molecule has a more electronegative elements, addition of oxygen is known as oxidation, okay, that is such as O2, O3, okay, this is O2, oxygen, that is ozone, okay, H, H, X2, H2 is, X2 is any halogen, okay, then the compound containing an element which is higher oxidized state, such as potassium permanganate, then K2, Cv2, O7, HNO3 and KClO3. Okay, these are the compounds of a high oxidizing state. Then the oxides of metal and non-metals. Okay, oxides of a metal, magnesium oxide, copper oxide, okay, chromium oxide, and phosphorus oxide. Okay, so P4 or 10. Okay, then then generally the halogen, fluorine, it is the strongest oxidizing agent among chlorine bromine iodine and fluorine fluorine has got the highest oxidizing features here okay these are some of the oxidizing agents then at the same time we are having the reducing agents also so what is this all metals such as sodium zinc iron aluminium 
all metals are strong reducing agent okay a few non metals also okay such as carbon hydrogen sulfur and phosphorus they are non metals they can be also reducing agent then hydrazide okay the acid which are hydrated okay hydrogen is present hydrochloric acid hydrogen bromide okay okay hi hydrogen iodide hydrogen sulfide okay so they are hydrazide then few compounds containing an elements in the lower oxidation state okay the compounds has a lower oxidation state that is iron chloride iron sulfide then sncl2 okay then mercury chloride okay hg 2 cl mercury chloride these are the compounds which has a lower oxidation state then metallic hydrides such as sodium hydride then lithium hydride calcium hydride etc okay nih lih okay ca h2 okay then organic compounds such as main this is an acid okay uh, hcooh okay organic acid okay so these are the some of the reducing h so this is all about uh, the chemical reaction reduction reaction okay so in the next class we will discuss what is the role of reduction reaction in the biological process especially in the case of biochemistry so today we are going to conclude the overview of redox reaction we have discussed what is the overview of redox reaction what are the major methods of electron transfer there are four methods we have discussed what are the types of redox reaction that can be decomposition reaction combination reaction displacement reaction there are two types and disproportionation reaction then we have discussed the oxidation and reduction reaction what is an oxidizing agent and what is a reducing agent what is oxidation what is reduction which are the important oxidizing agent which has the important uh, reducing agent now as i have said okay leninger principles of biochemistry is a major textbook and these are the additional reference book and thank you for watching this particular class if you are having any clarification you can text me or you can mail me or you can uh, call me uh, in person okay so thank you very much have a great learning take care